Last week, I weighed in about the Tyrone Muhammad situation in Chicago. And for those of you who might be new to my channel or this is your first time watching any of my videos, you're probably wondering who is Tyrone Muhammad, which is a question I'm glad you asked. Tyrone Muhammad is a black man uh, from Chicago, Illinois. He is a member of the Nation of Islam, and he was uh, told of some incidents about a Korean-owned nail shop that was disrespecting black women. One of the incidents where there was a 15-year-old uh, African-American lady or girl that was pushed or shoved or held hostage or something like that. Well, Tyrone Muhammad had heard about this. He was tired of hearing of it, and he wanted to make a stand. So what he went and, 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 and did, uh, he took some bricks and threw those bricks through their windows. Um, and, 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 and pretty much he told the, the black woman um, that he was going to do it, like, you know, told him to come out and that he was going to do this in order to vindicate the, the black woman from this disrespect that they were receiving from the Korean nail shop owners. Now, after that, he was arrested and then bailed out subsequently. He gave an Instagram interview. And the young lady was talking about how courageous Tyrone Muhammad was since black men do not protect black women. Uh, a lot of them are scared to protect these sisters. Um, and we need more brothers like Tyrone Muhammad. I believe also Brother George Macon made a video on this si similar situation. But right after that, I did an interview with a brother named um, The Hood Conservative. I'll put his YouTube channel. You can pin it to the top. You can go check him out. He raises an interesting question. What about the black men who do protect black women and have went to prison for it? What about those brothers? See, now we're getting into what David Carroll calls the rabbit hole, where we're getting a little deeper into this because on one hand, black women were saying that brothers don't protect them. But on the other hand, there are various stories of black men who have protected black women and have been to prison for it. You see, what we don't want to talk about and what some black women I want to talk about is some of the most protective group of men in America are black men. We've been taught, if anything less, don't protect anybody but your mother. You better protect your sister. Even if it's their fault. Let me give you a story, if I can. There was a young lady who I knew about who was dealing with a, a, a particular man. She was, she got the man robbed. Okay. The man came and was looking for her and had did something to her car. Now she is the person that started this. She told her brother, not the fact that she robbed him or had him set up. All she went and did is told her brother that this man is, did, did this to me. So the brother goes out there and damn near kills the guy. The brother goes to jail. And as you would guess, she goes back with the guy. Let's talk about that situation. How many times has a sister got involved what a no good Negro going up side her head doing this and doing that doing this and doing that. She go cry to the brother. He beating on me. He doing this, doing that. Now, obviously she not going to tell, you know, whatever it is that she has done in the situation, not to say that it is right, but you know, if she's going to come at the brother as if she's a complete victim, she might've been slashed. The man tires might have poured hot grits on the man might've stole the man's credit cards, or whatever. She's going to leave that out. 
go tell the brother, the brother go handle the situation. Now the man may or may not go to jail, but after the brother done went and fought and beat him up and got him jumped, what do she do? Go right back to the guy. You know, look at this show called Fatal Attraction. It's on um, TV One, but you can look at it on YouTube. How many women are documented that have a husband or have a boyfriend, usually husband? They will go out and get life insurance policies. I'm really preaching right now. Get life insurance policies on your husband. Four or five hundred thousand. Make sure they get the number real up. Then they got the dude on the side that they're dealing with. They'll go and tell the dude on the side, man, my husband's beating me. Husband ain't doing nothing to him. They're just looking for a reason to get him to go do something to the husband so she can collect that life insurance money. Go and lie. Use that man to do something to the husband on her behalf. And he go to jail. And if he don't snitch on her, she going to keep that $500,000 life insurance policy. You have black men all in jail right now. Indirectly or directly behind protecting some woman. And only to find out why he locked up in jail. She didn't moved on with his with her life. He there doing 10 years, doing eight years. She ain't putting that money on the books no more. She got somebody new. She didn't forgot all about him. And he he is and wasted his life or wasted some part of his life uh, 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 destroyed. I remember doing a story. Now, I'm I'm not, I don't know if I forgot these people were black or not, but I know this has happened similarly. You had a female who went out and had a threesome with some dudes. And one of the dudes was trying to record it. She went back and told the, the boyfriend that the guy forced himself on her, like basically tried to, you know, the R word, right? The R-A-P word. You you get what I'm saying? In the E. I can't say it on YouTube. So the boyfriend, although his girlfriend agreed to this encounter, he goes out and takes the guy's life. He goes to prison. Not only did he do that, he went and got some friends to help him. Now they all behind jail cell, and she didn't lie about it. she, She went to jail. You have black men all across this country who have protected their mothers, have fought on behalf of their mother's honor, have have done things on behalf of their sister's honor, and they are locked up right now. And a lot of brothers know this. Fighting on behalf of women, protecting women, a lot of times a lot of black men ain't worth it. I can prove. Want to know how I can prove it? Look at Tyrone Muhammad. Tyrone Muhammad went out there and did all of that. And do you know what? What happened? Go out there and only to find out that all of those women have went back into that shop. They back in the shop. So he pretty much did that for nothing. He went to jail and got a pending case for nothing. So basically, are you saying we want black men to go out there and risk their lives on the line and put their lives on the line for you not to appreciate it? That's what it sounds like to me because the black man is the most protective man over his woman. Especially the women in his family. But don't nobody want to go out there and be stupid. See, uh, uh, what I'm hearing from a lot of sisters is, we want you brothers to go out there and defend us no matter what we're doing. Go out there and be dumb. Go out there and put yourselves in harm's way. Go stand in front of the Mack truck and get ran over, in other words. You know, that would be really nice if you did that. Go out there and get hit by a speeding damn car. That would be really nice. It would really show us that you care. Meanwhile, while you don't do nothing and completely move the way you want to move, go to any prison. A lot of brothers will tell you I'm here because of a woman. But anyways, I wanted to defend our brothers. You know, Tyrone Muhammad ain't the first brother. 
that went out and done something like that on behalf of his mother's honor or sister's honor or black woman's honor. A lot of brothers in the pen right now have done the same thing. So I will not let anybody speak bad on black men's name as if they don't protect black women. And I believe the hood conservative is right. A lot of brothers in the pen right now wish they wouldn't have did that. Well, anyways, thank you for um, supporting the channel. All my contact information is in the first comment. Check me out. My Patreon is there. Um, my email, all that information. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.